Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, what is the bookmark with data and bookmark without data. We are going through an experience of uh, changing a slicer and seeing how that affects the bookmark and how we can change it. Let's see how it works. To understand the bookmark with or without data in Power BI, I have this sample report. I'm going to show you uh, this uh, demo on it. Here I have uh, two charts overlaid on each other. When I uh, move them around, you should be able to see them. I'll just make them visible for a second. So here are two charts overlaid on top of each other. Um, and I have created uh, two bookmarks which I can show them in a bookmark page one is column chart bookmark another is bar chart you see that when I click on each of these bookmarks one of the charts is uh, hidden the other chart is visible so when I click on column chart bookmark bar chart is hidden when I click on bar chart bookmark column chart is hidden then I connected these to these two buttons which when I click on the two buttons their action is pointing to that bookmark so here in this video I'm not going to talk about how to do this setup I already have another video and blog about that uh, here what I'm going to explain is uh, what is the bookmark with data what is the bookmark without data at the moment the user experience is that user can dynamically change this chart as you can see and when I click on column chart I see this as a column chart when I click on bar chart I see this as a bar chart this is done using bookmark uh, I've created one bookmark for one selection, another for another selection. Now, uh, what is the bookmark with data or without data? Let's say I go and select a range of dates in the slicer. You see that when I click on that range, uh, everything gets filtered here. At the moment, it is bar chart. But as soon as I click on column chart, which will actually trigger the column chart bookmark, the selection goes back to, uh, to the entire period. Or even here, if I select the range and I click on bar chart, selection goes back to the entire period. Uh, that is because in bookmark, we have something called data uh, as part of the bookmark. When I click on these three dots, I see that bookmark includes something, uh, some, uh, let's say, attributes. One of them is data, which is checked by default. What that means? That means if I select a range in a slicer or any other slicer let's say I have five slicer in the page if I select them all and then create bookmark my bookmark will take that part of data into consideration the next time that I click on that bookmark it will bring me to that selection of slicer now because when I created this bookmark the selection of a slicer was uh, like default which was no selection clear selection that considers the entire period that is why when I click on a bookmark it goes to that entire period uh, this is helpful of course for scenarios that you can create like a button here that clears all the slicers like you have five ten slicers clear all the slicers that button will clear them all using bookmarks with the data and I have a video and blog about that links down the description uh, goes to that uh, that blog and video however for this scenario I prefer that if I go and select a range then I click on column chart or bar chart that selection remains and I don't uh, need to redo it again so what I do in this case is I go and uncheck the data from each of these that means my bookmark will not include data as you can see data is not checked that is bookmark without data so when it is without data that means uh, no matter what the selection of a slicer is in the page bookmark would work so if I go and select a slicer like this range and then go to column chart whatever that is uh, selected is still there because my bookmark didn't save the current status of the values in the slicer and same for this one I can change these and nothing actually uh, impact this this type of bookmark bookmark without data is helpful for scenarios that you toggle visualization like here and you don't want the slicer to be reset back to whatever it was before or page navigation you don't want the slicers to reset 
to whatever it was before. But for scenarios such as uh, storytelling, you want to show people that let's go, for example, to year 2007 in this specific period and see what it is here or um, that clear selection of slicers, everything like that. Those those options are good with bookmark with the data. So make sure that you choose it at the right place uh, for the right purpose. I hope this video helped you in your Power BI reports. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI. Thank you.